and I'm grateful that my country is standing by Palestine. I do feel though that it's not moving at the right pace. I do feel that it's not happening fast enough. I feel like the like the, uh, the court case, um, uh, something should have happened already, that the arrests should have been made already because they are being allowed to, ca to carry on with more uh, with more uh, criminal activity, America and Israel, and um, it's got to stop. And, and we need South Africa, and we need Cyril Ramaphosa to raise his voice even more, not just on an international stage, but here in South Africa, stand up and say something and do something about it, actually. I am here since October 7th last year. Until today, more than 42,000 civilians have been killed. 78% of whom are children and women, including some of my own students, some of my colleagues and my relatives. We never expected the world to stand idle and watch the children of Gaza being butchered in broad daylight. What are we waiting for? We say thank you, South Africa, for being the only courageous country that has decided to take on apartheid genocidal Israel, to take Israel to the ICJ. So when the United Nations let them down, when the OIC let them down, when world governments let them down, when Muslim masses let them down, when Muslim countries let them down, there was one country in the top of Africa and they said, sorry, we can't even keep the lights on. But we stand with humanity. We, we take our neck out. We will get slaughtered economically and politically, but we will stand for truth and justice. There was a lady called Lady Pando, and in her office a man very quiet, who doesn't like to be known, a name command called Saint Domingo. And outside Ronald Lamola, and of course the permission can only come from our president Cyril Mabosa and the ANC who made it happen. We stood up and I say thank you very much to the government and all the political parties who are here. We appreciate you. You know a German man once told me. You South Africans are a crazy nation. You fight about everything, but on common issues, you stand together. And what can South Africans do? They can join this march, for example, enjoy, in, uh, and join the call from this march to call for an end to occupation and apartheid in Palestine, which as we know has been going on for 76 years. In South Africa, apartheid was ended because of pressure from the international community. It was ended because of pressure, a boycott pressure, sanction pressure, and that, aside from, that joined with the struggle of people in, in South Africa to end apartheid in South Africa. And we want to end apartheid in Palestine, in occupied Palestine, also through boycott, through sanction,